Cowboy, I guess a, a, a short notice fight is a short notice fight, but is this one of the kind of most bizarre situations leading into a fight that you've, that you've seen in your career? Yeah, yeah, I've never seen it. someone get thrown off because they're crazy. So that, uh, it's a first for me. But yeah, short notice, short notice. It's made a career out of – usually I'm the guy filling in, not the other way around. So uh, pretty cool. Alex threw his hat in and they picked him, so it's cool. Yeah. What did you, I mean, you touched on I mean, you're kind of associated with this, with this whole storyline now. I mean, do you have thoughts? I mean, this, uh, it was so cool to see two fellow veterans, you know, uh, facing off, and now he's just unceremoniously out of the organization. I mean, do you have any thoughts on the whole situation? I mean, you've seen people get chopped. So, apparently, he pissed the wrong people off, and it just so happened right before the fight. But I don't really have anything to say. I, I was looking forward to fighting. Um, I'm going back to 55, so that's kind of the, you know, taking this fight. I was like, man, now I'm going to take a short notice fight against a 70 pounder. I want to go. I, I was only doing it for the UFC. They asked me if I wanted to, you know, Diego Beg for the fight, wanted it. So I was like, cool, I want to go to 55. But so here we are back at 70 again. And uh, as soon as this fight's over, I'll be hollering for 55. So, but nah, just excited to go get paid on Saturday. Yeah. Was there any part of you that when this thing happened, like you said, I mean, you jumped in on short notice and that stuff, but, you know, you're going from fighting the fellow legend on his way out to now short notice against a guy that doesn't have a reputation, younger guy. You know what I mean? Like, that's, was there any part of this like, ah, maybe this isn't the right situation for me? Uh, Situation-wise, like I said, I, I can't be the guy that said I'll fight anyone anywhere anytime and then well, except for when this time, well, except for this time, you know. But, no, as a team, we were like, man, this doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything versus 70. Damage doesn't do anything for a 55, so it was kind of a weird, like, should we just pull back and wait a little while? And then we were like, nah. So, we're good. <laughs> do you ever think, like, did anybody say, well, maybe it would be, maybe now we finally got to have a little strategy with our career and how we manage it? You know, when I saw Dana, we talked about it, and he was like, hey, man, you do whatever you, I'm not going to, Cal, if you, you're the guy that I've never had an issue with, so I'm not telling you, fight. I don't need you. If you want to, Wait, go to 50, it's on you. You do whatever you want to do. So I waited a couple of days, and then I said, we're in. Nice. It's kind of interesting, right, because Dana had some other words back in September um, where he said he thought he might have to talk to you and have that one. And so, um, I mean, I mean did, you, did those words get back to him? I'm sure they did. And, I mean, I don't know. Did it hurt at all to, to hear that being said? Hell, yeah, it hurts. What do you mean? Of course. But we took a little slower approach this year, you know, and uh, I don't know. It's, I am getting old, you know. I am, and uh, I need to slow my fighting down a little bit, for sure. Let my head heal, and uh, but shit, we're ready. I'm like doing that grappling training with RDA was like the best thing I ever did. It like really got me excited into jujitsu again. It really got me excited into training and fired up. I shouldn't say fired. I was like the fire ever left. I, I hate that term. Like oh, I had to, I had to really ignite the fire, but it. In a way, it kind of I got excited about it again. You know, fell back in love with jujitsu, and um, God, I'm excited to go out there and, and participate. You know, like I I keep trying to find the void of the thing that makes me do like this racing. It's same thing all day long. I love it. I get so excited and nervous. Saturday, I get to do the most exciting and nervous thing I've ever done, and it's every time I love it. So, um, yeah, I feel good. Team's good. Body's good, and can't wait. You mentioned the jiu-jitsu tournament. I don't know how many people followed it or the match, I should say. Pretty cool to, to come back out there and run it back with them. I mean, what, what, what was that about for you to say, yeah, let's, let's, go, let's go run it back? Oh, I didn't want anyone to ever say anything. So, I was, you know, he, he said he didn't tap. And I said, hey, man, if you didn't tap, then we'll just do it again. Like, you know, I don't, I, I want, it to be, I don't want there to be a question about it. So, um, not, I wasn't arrogant or I, wasn't, I was like, yeah, let's, just, let's do it again. Let's make it for sure, right? You know, and so we just – we. Ran it right back. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, you mentioned the conversation with Dane, I mean, in, in approaching your career, you know, did you guys ever have to get together and, and have a conversation about your career? No. Uh-uh. Never have. Just uh, he says no sometimes, and I want to go, and he just says no, wait a little bit. But never, we've never had to sit down and try and figure out a way to go. No, yeah. not yet. God, hopefully not ever. It, it seemed like you did a lot of training out here in Vegas during these six months. Was that by design, or were you out here for other things? I mean, I, I, I never know where you might be. So, I mean, are Both. you kind of with a new team, so to speak, or a new yeah. approach or anything? No, no, no. Just I, I had to be out here, so then we make it into another thing, the whole journey, right? Come out here, we'll train, we'll use the PI, we'll get everything done. So 
another team, no. Uh, Big Wood and Syndicate have always been, I guess, our team too, you know, so I wouldn't ever say changing that. But it's good to step out and go there and spar and get with new guys that I don't train with at the ranch all the time. So um, we got into sparring again a lot this, this, uh, this camp, trying to get my head movement down, so we'll see if it uh, works. <laughs> Was that something you hadn't been doing a lot of sparring? Oh, you've seen my fights. I don't move my head fucking ever, so. <laughs> That's what makes them fun, right? <laughs> what, uh, as far as Alex goes, you know, him stepping on short notice, did, did you know anything about his? I know you don't watch fights, so did you know anything about him at all? Not really, man. I, uh, unfortunately, I, I, I didn't know. I was, it was just one of the names that came a lot. They throw a lot of names at you, and was, we were like, yes, 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 you know, so, um, and then they had, the guys that said yes, they couldn't do it. it was like, it's weird how it works. Like, people are always like, why didn't you take this fight? The fight that I really wanted to do was with um, Emil uh, Meek. He's been here. He's looking for a short run fight. He's my buddy. And I was like, man, if there's anybody, throw this guy's hat, you know, but it didn't, it didn't work out. I don't know. I don't know the inner workings of the top UFC. I just know they give you names. You say yes, no, and they're like, well, that one didn't work. Here's another name. Um... And his name was one that they're like, he said yes. And I was like, well, let's go. Yeah. I know he fought Pettis. Um, you know, there's he, the kid's coming. He's hungry, you know, and that's what makes this dangerous because he's not a old veteran like I am. Maybe he's like a new up and coming hungry kid. And I'm sure his team are like, you know, what, go in there and swarm this motherfucker right away in the beginning. If you're going to get Cowboy, you're going to get him early. So uh, I bought Chalito with me. We're going to be getting rounds one and two out of the way in the back. So I'm gonna come out there fucking ready to go. I wanted main event, I would have loved five rounds. I don't know if that kid can go five. Um, I still have the malicious intent on hurting the motherfucker. So I got the Diego fire still. So I plan every punch and every kick to be lethal. And I don't want this kid to make it out of the first round. So um, when he watches this, no, I'm coming motherfucker. So when you come hard and you come fast in the beginning, I'll be ready. That's a solid quote there. I guess last thing for me, though, Cowboy, I mean, one of the most beloved figures in company history, but do you feel like this is a situation where your back's against the wall, like you got to prove When you something? put it like that, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Of course. Absolutely. It's the same conversation I had with Sean and Dan. Like, hey, man, Diego fights out. You want me to take a short notice fight? I'm not on a four-fight winning streak. It's actually the opposite. Like, I don't want to be in here fighting for my job. I don't want to be coming to you like, man... I shouldn't have done that, you know? Um, so yeah, but all that aside, that's not even in my thought. I'm not like, oh, I have to win. This isn't a must win. This is, I get to go win. I get to go fight. I get to go do what I love. So um, I feel great. The age has no factor on me right now. I, I, I'm not beat up or sore, but there's a lot of things we got to work on this camp. It was such a long camp since the RDA thing, you know? So I got to improve in a lot of areas and I get a mostly my mental side and that's what i think i get to explore the most like when i said you come out first and ready to go i'm gonna be standing there fucking ready to rock so um i know i say that now on wednesday saturday fuck i hope it's true man i hope i'm fucking gritting my teeth like let's go bitch so um back against the wall at the end of the day sure do i feel like it it's just another fight man another win another fucking bonus another legendary stat i get to put on the fucking end of the day record so that's what i'm looking to do go set records set all kinds of new things. So these young kids coming up are like, man, I one day want to be him. But I'm still here, motherfucker, so uh, get in line. Okay, well, you mentioned that you had that fire to fight Diego, and you put a video out saying you wanted to hurt him. You had that malicious intent to get him. So when that fight got canceled, how disappointing was that that you didn't get to follow through with it? Ah, of course, you know. Uh, Diego's hard. It's hard to be mad at him now because I don't know if it's him guiding the horse. I think he's just running blind in this other Jamoke, his new lovers, like showing him down the path. So I don't know. Uh, I can't really be mad at the kid, you know, or the old man, I should say. But uh, really, it's his cult leader and lover that took over his life. And uh, I feel bad for you, Diego. Did you ever have, I don't know the timelines. Did you ever cross paths with that I guy? never have. I never ever have. Uh, I do know the guy that whipped his ass at the bar. I used to train with the guy. And that kid was talking about his death punch and how he was going to kill the dude. And my dog, my buddy dog walked his motherfucking ass all over the bar. So uh, the death punch did not work. It was unsuccessful. So, and this guy no longer fights, no longer trains and just said, man, I'll beat your ass. And he did. So it was, it was quite, we had a, the MMA community in New Mexico had a chuckle over it. 
Diego did an interview yesterday where he said that the first time he ever rolled with this guy, he got tapped in 40 seconds. So when you hear something like that, what do you, how does that even happen? Because Diego. Yeah, I think your um, idea of tapped and my idea of tapped are different. I think Diego got tapped in 40 seconds for sure. Different kind of stroke for different kind of folks, buddy. Moreno, uh, Moreno's out here, he's paying you a lot of compliments, and he was saying that, um, <laughs> he was saying that uh, he, you actually paid him a compliment after his USA debut. You said you went up to him in the back and said you have great footwork. I was wondering if you remember doing it. Of that. course, yeah, absolutely. I know, I know the kid, you know, I just, uh, I don't watch all the fights, but yeah, of course, yeah, he does. He's a, he's a, he's a shuffler, for sure. Cool, thank you. <laughs> oh, are we out on that? Good, appreciate it. <laughs>